I don't know about you, but there are aspects to AI that do scare me a bit, especially since it seems like so many people involved with its early development are suddenly walking away with not so good things to say about its oversight. With that being said, there are a lot of really cool tools for creators that are being released that use AI. None more cool than voice changers. But most of them aren't real time, so they're basically useless for live streamers. One, however, is on the forefront of real time AI voice changing, and they've just released a busload of new voices. Don't worry, you can try it out for free. So let's check them all out today. The voice changer I'm gonna be talking about is VoiceMod. It's a really advanced voice changing software that continues to get better and better. And yes, you can try it out for free to see if it works for you. There's a link in the description down below so you can check it out. So for those who are new to voice mod, let me go ahead and just give you a quick walkthrough. You got your menu over here on the left, voice mod, soundboard. You can actually create a soundboard and use it. Voice lab, you can create your own voices if you would like. Text to speech, you can do that as well. This has integrations into Twitch for bits and that sort of stuff. So you can check that out. And of course the voice mod store. What you're most interested in here is the settings. You want to go ahead and make sure that you choose your microphone input and your output, which would be your headphones so that of course you actually know what the stuff sounds like and you have your volume controls and that sort of stuff. We can go to advanced setting and select the voice mod device as the default device, which, you know, I'm not exactly sure why you'd want to do that. Eliminate popping, mic exclusive mode, a couple different things you might want to explore, see how they work for you. Up here, we've got our general settings. Start with Windows. If you want it on with Windows or running all the time, you can set that up. Minimize to tray, ask before updating. And then key binds we can set up so that we can turn on these things down here. Here myself, voice changer, and background effects. So you can set up a key bind to basically turn it on and off. It makes it super easy. I like to use the voice changer on off so I can just use one key to turn it on and off. You just click on the key bind and we'll just uh, select that. And there we go. So now every time we select that, it will go on and off. And this will mute our microphone. And this will allow you to choose the microphone and all that sort of stuff right here. This will add beeps or buzzes for, you know, kind of beeping out swear words. And this right here allows you to connect voice mod apps to other things. So that's the basics. We're going to go into voice box and we're going to explore some of these AI voices because as you can see, they have added quite a few AI voices here and I'm really looking forward to seeing what these things will do. So let's start out with Karen. You click on it and it takes a couple seconds for it to load up. You'll notice my voice is exactly the same. Well, let's go ahead and put our voice changer on. And there we go. This is what Karen sounds like. And we can adjust the pitch. So there we go. Make it a little higher. Make it a little lower. Pretty decent. Clean sounding AI voice. This is Joe. And I really like this. This one sounds absolutely fantastic. Once again, we can adjust the pitch. So we can make it a little higher. Or we can make it a little lower. If you're using these AI voices, there's no way that you can tell that it's actually you. And that's what's so cool about them. Your voice is completely disguised. Let's try Agatha. There we go with Agatha. Very cool. Now you notice that we do get a little bit of background pop. So let's go to settings. And we're going to go to advanced. And we're going to eliminate popping. There we go. Go back to voice box. So this is Agatha. Once again, you can adjust the pitch. Not super fond of this one. Let's try Jackie. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, this one sounds really cool. It's fluid. It's different. It's unique. I kind of like it. Let's adjust the pitch and see what happens. Here's our pitch. 
Here's a lower pitch, and that one sounds good right out of the box. So let's try that. This is the Matt AI voice. Now you'll notice that sometimes it stretches and does that sort of stuff. And that just means that sometimes you're going to have to voice act when you're using these voices. It really does help if you have a script or you know exactly what you're going to say. It is also very difficult to use this when you have hear myself on because there is going to be a very slight delay. For anyone who's ever done any kind of monitoring before, you you know how difficult it is to continue talking when you're hearing yourself delayed in your ears. It's very strange. Let's try Haley. This is the Haley voice. Oh man, that is pretty cool. It sounds really young. I like it. It definitely works better when you talk with a little bit of a southern twang. And that's what I mean by doing some voice acting. Because if you do, you can make these sound much more natural. You know, like you're going down to the store to just pick up some oil. Yeah. Nice. I like Haley. Let's try Daniel. This is the Daniel voice. And boy is it low. I really like how this sounds, but I can definitely tell you're going to want to do a little bit of voice acting to get this one to sound natural. Very cool. Let's try Jennifer. That sounds really unique and interesting. I can't believe how much range you actually get in these voices. It really does an amazing job of transforming your voice to sound completely different. I like it. Let's try Al. This is the Al voice. Now you'll notice when I select each voice, it takes a second or two in order for that voice to actually turn on and be active. And of course that's because it's loading all the AI stuff in the background. But the delay is really minimal. It's definitely the kind of delay that you can easily deal with on any live stream. So there is the owl voice, let's try Vicky. Vicky is very deep and raspy. I like it. Let's try Blink. This is the Blink voice. I don't know what to actually think about this one, but let's try Stephanie. Hi, my name is Stephanie. That's at least the voice I'm using. And this is a pretty interesting voice. Let's try Chad. This is the Chad voice in Voice Mode. I hope that you like it. It sounds kind of interesting. I'm guessing this one will need some voice acting, so it doesn't sound quite as robotic, but it does sound pretty cool. Now, any of these, you can adjust your pitch on as well. Let's try the next one. Kareem, I think it is. I think it sounds pretty cool. It's funny how all the women's voices seem to work very well with a southern twinge. I don't know why that is, but they all sound pretty cool. Let's try Cameron. I definitely think that this guy could run down to the corner store and pick up some oil and put it in my car. Yeah, camera sounds pretty cool. Let's try Alice. It seems very clean and sharp. I really like it. Let's try Bob. Here is the Bob AI voice, and this sounds about standard for AI voices. It's kind of interesting, but nothing particularly fantastic or new. Let's try Dean. Here is the Dean voice. Wow, this one is kind of cool. I really like it. It totally disguises your voice and it doesn't sound very robotic at all. I like it. Let's try Marcus. Now Marcus seems like a guy who knows how to get things done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's also a very low voice and pretty raspy, but this totally disguises anyone's voice. Very cool. Let's try Claudia. Ooh, I like it. It's a very soft female voice. Very cool. Let's try random human. Here is the random human voice. Now, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's kind of interesting. It looks like it just changes voices for each phrase. And over on the right, it has a bar called delirium. So let's mess with that a little bit and see what happens. So delirium adds an echo. Very cool. So that means that every time you start a new phrase, you get a new voice, which will get a new echo, which will get a new echo, which will get a new echo. That's really cool. So you can see that these voices were just added on top of all of the regular voices that they already have, and there are hundreds of them. And a lot of these are absolutely fantastic. Needless to say, I've been using voice mod for a very long time. So I use the baby voice and I use the Titan voice and some of these other ones in my live stream. I've also been known to use this AI narrator voice, which was a very early version of the AI stuff that voice mod did. And I really think they're taking it to the next level. There is a lot to choose from here. And if you want to do some voice acting, well, you can really do some amazing stuff with these AI voices. And I think there is one more thing I want to show you. And that is how to bring this into OBS so you can use it. 
So let's go ahead and open up some OBS. So here we are in OBS and I have my camera loaded, but all we would have to do if we wanted to change it up and add the voice mod voice is go ahead and right click, go to properties, and for our devices, obviously we have our camera, but we're gonna go down here and we're gonna use a custom device and we'll just drop this down and we will select the voice mod microphone. Here it is, right at the very top, microphone voice mod virtual audio device. We select that and we click OK. And now we are getting our voice mod audio device. So all we have to do is go into voice mod, turn on the voice changer. And there we go. So now when we go back in, we are going to be getting our modulated voice from voice mod. And it's really, really, really simple to add. We want to hear it. We just put on here voice. We can hear it in our headphones to test it to make sure it's working. I think you really want to kind of go through and select the voices that you want to use. You don't necessarily want to have them feeding back through your headset. You also want to just make sure that the voices line up, which of course you should be able to easily see in this video right here. How are the voices lining up? Well, now you know. I think these new AI voices are just awesome. And I really like that you can modify them even further to get exactly what you're looking for. Check it out for yourself with the link in the description and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see another AI voice changer, because maybe voice mod just isn't what you're looking for, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.